Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman's amazing. Forgot how hot yeah. she was. I mean, yeah. she's still hot. She's in Big Little Lies. She's so sexy in that still for like a seventy-three-year-old lady. You know, in Hollywood years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could probably break it down actually if, if we if we looked back over the course of all the different you know phases of Hollywood, you could cu calculate how much one year is to an actress, which is sad. What is happening, Reject Nation? It's Greg here. And I'm John. So we're going to watch today from Honest Trailers, because I specifically contacted Screen Junkies. I said Dan, Spencer, Joe, Roth, and everyone who doesn't even work on the Honest Trailers bits, y'all need to do one for Batman Forever, because Justice League is coming out. Yeah. So I credit myself for this. This is you. Because I'm the only one who tweeted them. Like, when you see that opening scroll, when they... It's just, only going to be my Twitter account. Yeah, just the same Campbell. tweet five times. <laughs> Let us check out uh, on this trailer for uh, Batman Forever. This stars my favorite actor from NCIS. Really? Which one? Chris O'Donnell. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> Vegas? <laughs> or New Orleans or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, Cool J. Yeah. Which, you know, that was a missed opportunity not having him in this movie. Sorry. Thanks, man. <laughs> What? It's all me. It's all my one of your. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. <laughs> Manipulated. From producer Tim Burton and <laughs> replacement director Joe Schumacher comes a <laughs> that replaces the 80s gothic look of the first two with the ecstasy soaked fever dream of the mid 90s. Yeah. Yes, He's this spiritual. This is definitely guy. the worst movie I've seen 30 times. Batman forever. <laughs> Dang. Actor Human Cure song Tim Burton made Batman cool for the mainstream. <laughs> then put too much kinky stuff in the sequel to sell kids' toys. Warner Brothers picked Joel Schumacher as the pariah, uh, director, to push the franchise in a more family friendly direction. Holy rusted metal, Batman! Huh? But hey, if this oh, is what we had to go through to get Nolan. Take it away, Joel. Yeah. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, son? I'll get drive through. <sighs> oh man. Meet Val Kilmer's unique take I on Batman. He's not weird like Keaton, charming like Looney, intimidating like Bale, swole like Affleck, or emotional like a human. <laughs> but he does contribute one major unique trait to the Batman legacy. His mouth is always open. Uh, it's true. That's Dewey Bugs. I guess that's one way to catch him. <laughs> Watch Batman face to face. Oh, God, I'm so man. annoying. Uh, I'm not being a threat half the time. So annoying. <sighs> but there's also the onesie wearing Riddler. Jim Carrey, at the height of his powers, brings the same manic energy he brings to his other roles. Who so can? Okay. While Tommy Lee Jones makes the horrible choice to bring the same uh, manic energy as Jim Carrey. Man, Watch these two actors try to one up each other on camera while the real drama was apparently going behind down. the scenes. He got up and yeah. hugged me and said, I hate you. <laughs> I really you know about this? don't like you. No. Wow. Yeah. Thrill as Batman wow. faces his greatest danger yet. The only thing that could actually stop him for good, a therapist. <laughs> Dr. Chase Meridian takes her place alongside Vicki Vale as the latest bad girlfriend you'll never hear from again. She's got God, she looks great. On, yeah. And she's not That's using amazing. either of them because all she does is perv out on a stranger in a rubber suit. You are interesting. Well, I wish I could say that my interest in you was purely professional. God, I forgot how hot she is. <laughs> oh, and it's bat nips. My place. Oh. I've imagined this moment since I first saw you. Your eyes, your lips, your body. Open mouth. Experience the Bat Family grow bigger with Chris O'Donnell's Robin, whose lame origin story of the Robin name I flew in like a robin. is still oh, better than the Dark Knight Rises. You should use your full name, Robin. Yeah, with a mid-20s actor who is best to play a cool tee, complete with cool <laughs> motorcycle and leather jacket, giant 90s cool guy earring, yeah. and something no one will ever make cool. Laundry Doing laundry. Guy. That's cool. <laughs> Holy dreadful, no me, Batman. This makes me want to drink oh, some bleach. God. 
So where is the beginning of the end of the original Bakwa trilogy that put nipples on the bat suit, yeah. launched Akiva Goldsman's career, and cut out the insane subplot for the giant bat? What? They have man bat? today by hanging on to its three redeeming qualities, the thumbs up gift, the <laughs> epic seal saw, yeah. and the fact that no matter what you have to say, it's not as shitty as bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave the cave without it. <laughs> Starring. Hello, Never Reddit. Did. I am actor and artist Val Kilmer, AMA, a shoot up Starburst, Jim oh. Carrey, <laughs> got your girlfriend, the adult ah. wonder. Didn't sign up for this. The world's craziest laser tag arena. The Batman, yeah, guy. <laughs> the boiling acid guy. Oh no! It's boiling acid! Oh, so What's annoying. the girl? Batman fell down a well? Batman oh, begins man. to suck. Does <laughs> <laughs> anyone notice Two Faces Lair only works if he's facing one direction? Did they have to rearrange the furniture when he turns around? Breathe. Sunflower. Three to the right. Four to the left. Rainbow. 450. I've been Strange falling things. for 30 minutes. Soup is just boneless cereal. <laughs> I think that the Twilight Saga are the most amazing, beautiful movies ever made. And I would very much like to marry Edward Cullen. Wow. 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 Depth. Gosh, you know, the, the big difference? <laughs> yes, I agree. It is technically not worse than Batman and Robin. However... I could watch Batman and Robin yeah. more because Batman and Robin is so awful that it's kind of enjoyable. Yeah. This one is just annoying. I can't stand it. I, I can't. I can barely sit through it. Well, and the twist of making Two Face also just manic and and loud and obnoxious, and you have Jim Carrey with his like up to eleven energy. Just yeah, oh, that's a headache. It's like a game, it's like a game of tops. <laughs> it's really annoying. Yeah. I think it had to do with because I, I heard the whole interview where Jim Carrey was talking about how much I, yeah. Tommy Lee Jones didn't like him. I think it had something to do with how Jim Carrey, you know, like Tommy Lee Jones is a really serious actor and Jim Carrey's becoming famous for playing this guy. Making then, all sorts of big expressions. And I believe they had a movie come out, I forgot which one, that where Jim Carrey has opened up at number one and like made a crap ton of money and Tommy Lee Jones flopped that weekend because it was competing with Jim Carrey's movie. I wonder if Tommy Lee Jones was doing that to compete with Jim Carrey or was mocking the material or like knew what he was involved. That was just ridiculous. It, it, it was so annoying. And, and an insult to who Two Face is. Yeah, it's not. It's not that character. Yeah, Nicole Kidman. I forgot how sexy she was. I prefer her with an American accent. I'm not a big fan of her Australian voice. I guess I get what you're what you're getting at. I am uh, for whatever reason. It's the I one am time that, Nicole Kidman in this video. <laughs> the one time that that an the, the Australian accent somehow hurt Val Kilmer. Like I used to really like Val. I used to think Val Kilmer was so cool. He's too pretty. Yeah, and he just he doesn't leave an impression on you in this movie. I barely remember any of his moments like mostly i remember chris o'donnell because i remember thinking he was charming and charismatic as a kid yeah. i thought he was so cool yeah he was cool <laughs> man he was the robin. kid we wanted to be he was made for us yeah robin Wood's yeah. movie was made for us not made to rewatch when you're older yeah because <laughs> then you're just like oh this guy man but like yeah when you're a kid jim carrey what's weird is even though he's pretty annoying in this film to me too he's arguably the best one out of this film he is being the riddler he's being jim carrey but every interpretation i've seen of the riddler is at least pretty much Kooky. on par with yeah. who this guy is. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He seems like he's the most on pitch yeah. <laughs> of everybody. And and there's a sort of like force of nature zaniness that he has that kind of sells it anyway. The look of these movies, when Joel Schumacher came in and they became a lot more neon and a lot more crazy yeah. in the visual style, like I don't actually hate that. Sort of like live action comic book cartoon thing I think is an all right idea. I just, uh, I just don't think these movies are executed it very well. Well, Tim Burton's felt like comic books adaptations. This feels like cartoony. Cartoons, yeah, yeah that, that's the major difference yeah, with it. Yeah. It's like, while they're both arguably cartoons, one is uh, strikingly cool. Yeah. <laughs> the other is flat out annoying and bombastic. Which is funny because the, the original Batman movie, I actually went to a screening once where they they talked a lot about how that movie got made and what it meant for the legitimacy of comics because there were like people at, at like Indiana University and stuff like that working to legitimize comics in for various real? ways and yeah, and like teach courses and stuff like that. And they were involved with the making of Batman and one of their points was like, we were showing that this isn't just 
just kids stuff. And the first Batman movie, revo you know, helped to revolutionize the superhero genre and open up a lot of doors. And then for the third and fourth sequel, we just go right back to Kidsville. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I don't agree with. I think that um, Batman is meant uh, for kids for only children. specifically. Yeah. And I think that's the one thing Joel Schumacher got right is that Batman's not for adults. No. It's not for adults. Batman is for for little kids. And according to Joel Schumacher, it's meant for uh, twisted little kids. Twisted, yeah. With a uh, deranged sense of humor and children with ADD or ADHD struggles who also are into goth. <laughs> into goth, blacklight, paint, and uh, being loud. <laughs> yeah. I think Joel Schumacher's intent was correct. It's just the execution because of, you know, uh, what the studio wanted. Oh, yeah. Of Joe Schumacher did nothing wrong. All right, guys. Well, Screen Junkies, great job on this video, my friends. John Bailey, great job on the voiceover work once more. John Bailey is a good friend of ours. You can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Please follow us on social media.